Good morning guys, I just washed my hair. The front piece is dried because when they're bleached, I feel like they hold less water and the back is still completely wet. Um, I'm about to make, I just made myself some coffee and I'm about to make myself a waffle and put like Nutella and peanut butter on it and um, some maple syrup, kind of do that. And then I am having so many issues this morning. My vlog that is like, that is supposed to go up it processed for eight hours and still hasn't gone up. So I don't even know if I'll be able to get it up. I've been in contact with Google support, trying to figure it out, but it's such a bummer because I normally have it up 8 a.m. every single Monday and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere today. So I'm really frustrated and it's already a crappy day because of that. Um, but I'm gonna try to stay positive and hopefully figure that out. But I'll show you guys um, how I make my waffle. and I decided to go to the mall because we tried to order the Mexican food we wanted on Skip the Dishes and our order got canceled and said like this restaurant wasn't responding so we're like you know what it's seven minutes from our house we're just gonna go so we're just at the mall right now um and Steven's just waiting for the food but in the meantime I've got chips and guacamole and guava drink and uh e one of my nails broke I'm so mad. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it fixed tomorrow because what? I was walking the dog and it like wrapped around my finger and snapped off. And I was like, oh, I should have used a short leash. That's my fault. But yeah, now we're just gonna have some Mexican food. And my vlog is still not uploaded. Today has been one of my least favorite days in a long time. Like I haven't had a bad day like today in a while. That's why like Steven's trying to cheer me up with Mexican food because I'm very like I have to like force myself to smile because I just want to like sulk. But we all have bad days and even the bad days only last 24 hours. So that is my quote for the day. Got two different kinds of tacos. Um, which one is which? Uh, I think that's the steak and that's the beef. Beef and steak. They look so, so good. Hey guys, I'm literally sitting in my doctor's office right now just waiting for the doctor. I had a doctor's appointment to um, get a specialist for um, a new gyno because I moved obviously to Alberta and I haven't really found one that I liked. So I'm just doing a follow up with him um, to just sort of get into there because I have extremely irregular periods. If any of you guys have any advice on how you kind of like fixed your cycle. I've been struggling with this since I was like 15. So help a girl out because I'm over here like desperate. I feel like I'm trying to, I'm like ready to give up and be like, it's never going to be normal. Like this is just, it is what it is. So um, I've kind of been stressing about that for the past few days, but um, yeah, I just left the pups at home and uh, I think I'm gonna make chicken for dinner because I am so hungry right now. I'm just sitting here like, you know, he's gonna walk in and be like, this is so awkward. So probably shouldn't vlog for too long because he will probably walk in any minute. But um, yeah, totally forgot to vlog this morning. I was on the phone with my um, best friend who's pregnant. Um, she's due actually in November and uh, we were just talking for a few hours. Um, it's always so good. We normally try to talk every single Tuesday because that's her day off just so we can catch up because it is, I don't know what that was. It is so hard to uh, stay in touch with friends when you move away. So I feel like it's really important for me to stay connected with my besties because we have the best conversations all the time. You guys probably know how it is when you have that one person in your life, like that one friend, you can just talk for like three, four hours. We used to like when before her and I got married, she would drop me off at my parents' place and we would like stay in her car for like an extra hour after like leaving the hangout um, just to talk because our talks were just always the best. It's like, she's my twin flame. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop vlogging because if he walks in, it's gonna be like, I'm sorry, sir. I am back home. I just decided I was gonna make myself a iced Java, which is this stuff that you guys probably saw in my previous vlog. Um, because I didn't have any coffee this morning and I kind of need some energy. So. I'm going to have this. Mm. So good. It can just be a bit stronger. I wish this stuff was less sweet so I could put a lot into my, um, like, iced latte, I guess. Mm, that is so good so good and um just had some yogurt and um i think 
I'm getting really hungry, but I wanna have a bit of a later dinner, so I think I'm gonna have a little bit more to eat right now, but I just got a package in. Not sure what this is, so we're gonna open it up. Um, let me see. I have a feeling this is the, yeah, it is, okay. So my gua sha um, broke, I accidentally dropped it, or maybe it was my dogs that dropped it, I can't quite remember, because this took like quite a while to come in. And um, this is just a, the same thing, just another one. If you guys do not use a gua sha, um, you should check out this small business. It's an actual small Chinese business, which this uh, gua sha is our Chinese medicine. Um, and this is what it looks like. I have, when I started using this, I saw results after like a few days. Um, so I'm really excited to have one that's not broken because I just like to snatch and kind of drain the lymph nodes, I guess, in your face. So love that I have my, my new one in um i'll link it down below for you guys it's extremely affordable and honestly i love this tool so if you guys have been thinking about getting one i'll leave that for you i just finished cooking dinner and this is what i made um it is stuffed chicken with like i'll let you guys know in a second what's in it and then scalp potatoes um cheesy scalp potatoes and the chicken has got spinach artichoke cream cheese parmesan and salt and pepper um and then i just stuffed it and threw it in the oven and it's my first time trying this recipe with kind of doing a spinach dip kind of mixture because I love stuffed chicken. I love to put like goat cheese normally in it and like um, a spinach and things like that. So this is gonna be new with the artichokes, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna have that. And I'm gonna go watch some Gilmore Girls and kind of end off my night by just chilling because it's already past seven. I'm having a really late dinner. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Um, you know, did a bit of editing and cleaning today kind of try to keep myself busy and I'm gonna go steam my face, do a full skincare. Good morning guys. I am making rice cakes again, but this way it's, um, I've actually never had it with bananas and peanut butter before. And I remember like a while ago seeing someone on TikTok do this. I don't have as high hopes for it as some of my other recipes because so far my favorite is definitely avocado and um, cream cheese. But this is a healthier route and it's gonna give me some of those good fats, so. Just got two of them like this. And then I'm gonna slice up this banana and put it on top because um, why not? And that's what she did. And then I'm also eating a Greek yogurt. This Greek yogurt, if you have not tried it, is the, um, what's it called? I think it's pomegranate raspberry. I'm telling you, it is my favorite Greek yogurt. It is so good. Cause I'm not actually a fan of Greek yogurt. Um, I find a lot of it to kind of just be like really like horrible to eat like it's not enjoyable i just wanted to end but that one i actually like it so and then i think i'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon on top is it weird that i don't like that i'm not really a big cinnamon person i always thought that maybe that was weird because everyone's like obsessed with like cinnamon rolls cinnamon buns like putting cinnamon on everything but for me i'm like i don't know what it is about it i've just never really got the hype of what um the big deal on cinnamon is like i really don't get it we've got them both with bananas and now i'm going to take a little bit of cinnamon right, and just sort of sprinkle that over probably not a lot all right let's try it guys that's what it looks like Okay, I'm gonna say the flavor, so good, but this is so dry because peanut butter is kind of drying and bananas don't have much moisture in the rice cake. Like I need a gallon of water because I feel like I'm gonna be chewing this for the rest of my life. So I would say if you're gonna make this, have it with a bunch of milk or water and then it'll be great. I'm still gonna eat it. I might add some maple syrup to give it some moisture. <laughs> anyway. I've also got my yogurt, so I can kind of mix it up with that. But yeah, and now I'm just trying to figure out what to kind of do with the rest of my day. I really need to go and get my nail fixed, but I don't want to drive all the way to the nail salon if I've got no other reason to leave the house. And that's just me. I have a hard time leaving the house for one thing, especially if I do it by myself. Um, I don't know what it is. I've always been this way. Stephen will be home 
and I'll need to do the slightest thing and I'll be like, can you please come with me? Even if you just stay in the car. I don't know. It's something about like, it's, it's just so boring and like blah for me to leave the house by myself and leave the dogs at home. I just, you know, not for me. So I'm going to go and eat this and uh, try to figure out what I'm going to do. College is breaking my spirit every single day, telling me things I don't know. It's making me feel stupid. Okay, I need a break. I second that. Oh, man, you're tired. Living is exhausting. This week sucked. I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> Why did it suck? Just a ton of schoolwork. It's dinner time now. I pretty much spent the entire day just cleaning and watching a bunch of Outer Banks. I remember when the first season came out, everybody's raving about it, and I watched it and was not disappointed. It was so good. And this second season, I'm like in episode four, and it has got such a hook to it already. It's so good. Let me know if you guys are watching the show because honestly, I feel like it's so different than what you normally see on Netflix, and that's why people like it so much, right? Because I feel like nowadays they don't even have any more original ideas. Anyway, I made myself some chicken parm right here. And honestly, I'm impressed with how good this is. Sometimes I surprise myself on how good my cooking skills still are. When I lived at my parents' place, I pretty much did all the cooking because I just enjoyed it so much. And it was for like eight people because I have a really big family. I don't know how many of you guys know that, but I have um, seven sister brothers and sisters. So I would cook for like the whole family and my, like I grew up in a very cultural home with very like German, Russian, Ukrainian and Mexican food. That's pretty much what my family made because that's like all sort of in my background um, for food wise. And uh, I just find that I started like making things that were like, just because I felt like culinary things was so interesting to me. Like it's actually something I could see myself taking in school one day if I ever go to school. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so I'd always try all these different recipes and then my family would have to tell me like how it is. And a lot of them, it'd be so crazy. They'd be like, we don't like this. Like, and they'd be picky, but at least then I got to try all these different things. And I think that's kind of where my like love for cooking and food came from was like from a pretty young age. And my mom obviously cooked a lot too. So, and this is really good. Like the flavor is on point. It is, it's, I hadn't made it in forever and I'm so happy that I could put this together without a recipe. And it's like better than the ones I have at a restaurant. So so good and then I'm obviously having Diet Coke so yeah Steven's not home for dinner today so I'm just eating by myself sorry I'm like burping um yeah already fed the puppers and I'm probably gonna spend the entire evening um watching Utter Banks because I caught up completely on my work today like all my emails and um stuff is responded to there's one more responsibility that I have that I have to put in a clothing order um and kind of like go through a website and pick up to get certain things for a video coming up so i do have to do that but it's not on a deadline i can get that done anytime this week so i'm pretty much free and it feels so good so yeah i'm just gonna finish eating this and go watch some more netflix i watched so much of outer banks last night it was crazy um that show is so so good i'm about to put on um my one of my favorites um face masks this is the hydrating tiaki mask um, it's from like New Zealand or something like that. So just gonna, this is just extremely like hydrating. Okay, it's a sheet mask. Um, I definitely prefer like masks that I can just put on that come like in a container, but they don't do as much. So, and this be doing the most, the most is, I never know how to put these on properly. Like do you put it on first and then peel it off? I've never done that. So let's try it. They look crazy. I look crazy. What if I do it and then I peel it off? Like now that I've put it on. You guys are probably dying laughing in the comments. Being like, what is this girl doing? <laughs> like, it just came to my mind that I was like, I don't know if that's the proper way or not. Like, do you stick it on and then peel it off? Probably not. Just considering how hard this is to do afterwards. I have so many regrets. All right, you know what, it wasn't that bad. It's probably fine. All right, now I'm just gonna fix this bad boy. There you go. I can't remember the last time, like the last 
week of my life where I did the amount of skincare that I have this week. Like every single day, I'm steaming my face, putting on like retinols, hyaluronic acids, um, putting on a salicylic um, face mask and hydrating and just everything because I noticed, especially on my right side over here that I had a bunch of little bumps and I looked it up and it was congestion. And I was like, that's weird. Um, it was just like sitting under the skin. So I'm trying to fix that. So I'm gonna let this sit on for 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go watch more Outer Banks. It's so funny that I'm talking to you guys with a face mask on. Like, is this not creepy? <laughs> like, why did I decide to put this on on my vlog? But you know what? You guys get the real Susie. And this is the funny stuff I do. Anyway, I'm going to um, go watch some more Outer Banks. And then I have to put in uh, my order with Fashion Nova because that's due. So that's what my afternoon is going to look like. All right, so I didn't do any of the things I said I was gonna do. I did not sit and watch Outer Banks and I did not put in my Fashion Nova order, but it's a good thing because I can't remember the last time I cleaned the amount of stuff that I did today. Like, n name it, laundry, kitchen, floors, dusting, mirrors, everything, like it got done. I was super proactive. So um, whenever that happens and I get that kind of, um, like energy to just clean. I don't like to stop it because I'd rather do it then than force myself to do it. So I'm going to try to figure out, maybe I'll do the rest of the stuff I'm supposed to do tonight. But it's already um, eight o'clock and Steven just got home. I've got a dinner in the oven for him because he didn't, um, he did not uh, eat dinner. So I've got food for him. I already ate earlier, but I just had a small amount so I might have a bit of food. Um, right now I'm just gonna steam my face and then I'm gonna put on full skincare routine because I did um, Like you know those micro razors that you can use to like um, Take all the peach fuzz and stuff off your face. I just barely did that. So my face is kind of like obviously sensitive because um, Every time I do that it, it's I like to just hydrate like crazy and make sure that my skin isn't going to react bad because that is a game changer. My skin is always so smooth and there's no hair. My makeup applies really well. So I'm just gonna steam it and then I'll show you guys how I do my whole skincare routine. I'm gonna go in with like a face mask and um, and then I'm gonna wash that off and then I'll do a full skincare routine. I'm gonna show you guys like what I'm using, some of the products I'm using at the moment because um, I've been switching it up. So I will share that with you guys. I just put on this Glam Glow Berry Glow mask and honestly, it reminds me of yogurt. Like literally, even the consistency is literally like yogurt. It's so weird, um, but it smells good. And it's a probiotic recovery mask by Glam Glow. Um, I don't really know much about it. I've only used it one time before. So I'm trying to use more of my mask. So I'm going to wait for this to sit for, let's see how long. For 10 minutes. And then I'm going to do the rest of my skincare. I just washed my face mask off and now I'm going in with the herbivore orchid um, oil. And one thing I noticed is this oil does just does not absorb into my skin. So I can't really use it under makeup um, because it'll just keep my face greasy, but it is perfect for using a guasa. So I'm going to rub that in. I'm also gonna put a little bit of this on my neck since I am using it mostly just so that my Gloss that will smoothly go on my face. And also this orchid oil is really good for your skin. It's just, I just don't like it with um, makeup. So now that I've put that on, I got my pups here. I'm gonna go in with my guasa. I'm gonna go in and for those of you who don't know how to use this, you're just supposed to go here and go 10 times and then use the flat side and you go underneath your eye 10 times on both sides. And then you go up 10 times and then you can also go underneath your eye 10 times and over the eyebrow like this So a lot of tutorials about it online and I notice it makes a big difference especially on my jawline I I broke mine so um I just got it back in the mail so now I'm going to start doing it again you guys might maybe I'll show you guys some results I should take a before and after pic picture before I do this but so yeah pretty much I'm just gonna gloss on my face and um, as for the facial steamer I was using I get questions a lot I have it linked on my like to know it but if I don't remember to link the like to know it link down below just check that out and you'll be able to find it because it's my favorite um facial steamer and I just absolutely love it now that I've completely done my face is just kind of red when I use that gloss I'm going in with the Shoff moisturizer um this moisturizer really I feel like it doesn't do enough for my skin if I don't have oil underneath because it's just a really clean moisturizer like it's very 
good for you. It doesn't have all those different peptides and stuff in it. So um, it is a great moisturizer for your skin. I just find it doesn't do as much as my favorite, which is the Fresh um, Hydration Cream. So I'm just putting that on. Kind of be gentle on my face. And then I blend it down the neck as well because the hydration down there too. So then I'm gonna go in with an eye cream. This is the um, Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate by Fresh. I love this eye cream. I actually find it actually works. It just makes my under eye all smoothed out. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on there. And then I like to use this finger because it's the most gentle. I really need to get my nail fixed. And I'm gonna just tap that in. Tap, 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 tap. And then I'm just gonna go in with the last step, which is just a lip balm. And I have a lot of these little, um, I don't know how to pronounce that, it's Laneige. Yeah, it's lip sleeping mask. And this is just the berry one. So I just go like that. My dogs are playing on the couch behind me. <laughs> Boys, hey, settle down, please. And yeah, that's my skincare for today. My face is feeling really glowy, um, just with a face mask and everything. Actually, I think I did two face masks today because I'm just really trying to smooth out my skin and get rid of the little bit of congestion I have. It's already worked. I've done it all week and it's already so much better, so. So good. Hey guys, um, it's about lunchtime. Don't mind my face. I'm trying out a new self tanner today, so I look really, really muddy. But the self tanner is the Isle of Paradise um, mousse, um, the ultra dark mousse. So I'm really excited because the application was amazing. So I hope it's great. We'll see in four hours. But I am just barbecuing right now. Steven's gonna be home in about 10 minutes. And I know he hasn't eaten lunch, so I was trying to be wife goals and get the grill started instead of, clean I just cleaned my kitchen yesterday. I'm not trying to make it a mess. So the barbecue it is. And then um, I'm gonna go get my nail fixed finally today because Steve and I have a dinner with his boss, which I'm kind of nervous about for tomorrow. And I obviously don't want a ratchet nail. And um, I'm gonna go to Abercrombie because there's a pair of jeans on clearance that I want to order. But if I order them in store, I get free shipping. And if I order them online, it's $15. So it kind of takes away from some of the sales. So I'm gonna do that. Those are the two things I'm gonna do today. And then besides that, just uh, hang out with Steven. Got some Starbies. Steve and I are just at the mall right now. West Edmonton Mall. And now I'm about to go to, into Doc Martens because I did a poll on my Instagram <laughs> trying to figure out which docs to get. And they have an actual Doc Martens store here. So I'm gonna go in there and try to decide between two pairs. It has been six hours and this is by far the darkest tanner I've ever put on. I really hope I'm not this dark after I take a shower. It is crazy. Like this is what the bottle looks like. I love paradise insane i just feel like i'm kind of freaking out so i'm in a shower and then i'll show you guys after so i took a shower rinsed it off and i have never had a self tanner that has this had had this good of a payoff where it's this dark i left it on for i don't know like probably like six hours it's just so impressive like i'm just really really impressed i will link it down below for you guys because i'm so happy hey guys well today is not going as planned it's full on like storming outside there's lightning there's thunder um it's a little bit brighter here where i parked but um yeah kind of i had uh plans with a friend we still are meeting up like she's already here she's just coming over to my car um so we're still gonna try to find things to do but the cafe that we want to get into has a crazy ridiculous waiting like uh waiting list and it's just ridiculous even like cafes in the city especially if they're like trending it is so hard to get into just to like, grab a coffee and hang out with your friends so it's annoying to have to like always know what time you're doing everything in order to get in anywhere and like something about that irritates me but i get the fact that it's a gorgeous cafe and of course everybody wants to go so you need to like make a reservation so now we're gonna find a different place to go um and we're also shooting some content today so we're gonna see how the day goes. Um, Steven literally is just at home with the dogs. He had the worst headache this morning. Like it's making him nauseous. Like his migraines sometimes just get out of control. Hey, I was like gonna wait for you. Oh, what do you mean? To for finish vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> Tori's here. Hi. Look at how great our day is going. <laughs> it, I looked at every weather network and it was like no rain. And I was like, cool. <laughs> well, we're gonna figure out where to go, so. We decided to go to the Mutart um, Conservatory, which is like a bunch of like 
indoor like pyramids with a bunch of plants and water. It's so peaceful and so beautiful. I'll show you guys some of the um, pyramids. I'm just touching up my makeup because it's been on since like, I don't know, I woke up at 6.30, probably did my makeup around 7.38 and it's like almost six o'clock now. Oh, well, actually like 5.30. So we're gonna be leaving shortly because our dinner reservation is at six. So I just wanted to touch up my makeup. This lighting is so bad. Like, oh my goodness, I just realized where my camera's at, like not good. So I'm just putting on some more blush to, and bronzer to kind of, you know, make my face look a little bit more colored and not so washed out and then I'm just going to reset my face with the Smashbox setting spray and um, I just realized I was going to touch up my eyebrow um, I noticed in the mirror earlier I didn't like the way it looked I am extremely horrible at doing eyebrows like oh my goodness someone teach me how to do eyebrows and make it stick in my head. I find eyebrows is the hardest part about makeup, like hands down. It's so hard to like, I don't know. It's like I forget how to do them. There'll be one day where I'm like, they're perfect, but I forget like what I did the next time I wanna do my makeup. So I don't know, it's something that just doesn't really stick with me. I think it's, I think I'm cursed or something. Anyway. um. And I'm just gonna, my lipstick is in my bag that I'm going to uh, wear. And then the fit check is, I'm gonna put on more jewelry. Let's see, I'll take you guys over to my jewelry section. So that's kind of what the, wow, the lighting in here is so bad. It's like being weird, my face is kind of wet, but there's just like some glam. And um, this is the top that I'm wearing <laughs> again. And then just some black ripped skinny jeans. Don't mind, I've got this sponge in here and a bunch of clothes, like my whole film room is kind of a mess right now. But um, now I'm just going to put on some more jewelry. Got my little jewelry corner here. And I think I'm gonna put this three layered necklace on with the one I already have. Cause layering necklaces honestly such an important thing in an outfit and also um you guys are always asking like where i get my jewelry this is from nordstrom rack if you guys have that close to you or nordstrom check it out and this one here is from uh she and her fashion nova i can't quite remember and then i'm just gonna put on this watch no. and and then probably pop on some earrings my favorite earrings are these here like i love a chunky hi harvey um, I love a chunky gold and we sing, we sing, we sing. Uh, just gonna pop these in, and then yeah, like I said, my lipstick is in my bag, so that's like the final thing. Oh my goodness, this is such a struggle. Okay, I got one in somewhat. So that's kind of what they look like. They're like my favorite chunky gold earring, and I got them at, um, and I think it was um, Urban Outfitters. Yeah, Urban Outfitters. And they were like a little bit expensive, but they came in a pack of three. And I do not regret buying them because of the fact that they're so light because they're hollow on the inside. So that's the one thing that I love about them. And then I'm just gonna put on a fragrance. This is normally what I decide between is the Mademoiselle and the Good Girl. I think I'm gonna put on Good Girl. And back there, right there. And then, I'm going to put on some rings and then I'm gonna grab put on lipstick probably when I get into the car and that's sort of what I'm doing for a date night happy Sunday guys today has been such a crazy day I completely forgot to vlog but uh, we went to church this morning and wow the church service was absolutely amazing it was a guest speaker he was wow just so so good and uh and then besides that I filmed this afternoon filmed a Q&A so Steven and I, I guess filmed and um and then 
um what else oh and then we just went to best buy and right there i bought a apple desktop computer which is absolutely insane i've been wanting something like this for how long would you say like just a long time a long time like i never splurged on a like macbook or any mac product besides like my my phone and stuff i just have an asus computer and obviously everybody knows apple is compatible only with apple so um it was finally time for me to just pull the trigger and get it because it's just being annoying at this point to not have that second place to be able to edit at so here we are it's pretty exciting i will insert a clip of it all set up because i'm sure that uh steven will set this up for me when we get home and uh and then obviously I have a very, very busy evening just with um, editing my whole vlog and editing the other video and Steven's probably gonna, what, play video games? Well, I'm probably gonna have to help you set up the computer. <laughs> yeah, but after that. Probably go to bed. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, that's pretty much um, what we're doing. Are you guys ready for the most amazing unboxing I think I've ever done on my channel? The iMac, what's it called, desktop new version of it i guess and i gotta figure out how to open this box so i have to cut this pull this steven's here assisting me all right i just i can't even believe that this is real right now maybe put it down on the side please like this okay Just try to show you guys this the best that i can for a laptop unboxing do you want to help me lift this out do you move this cardboard because it's like hooked underneath there so i feel like you need to move this cardboard do like this and pick it up mm -hmm. all right oh my goodness all right, so that's the first thing. I need to find a place to put this down. Put this down here. Do that. And then, we've got the wireless mouse, the wireless keyboard. So here's the mouse. I'm gonna take all the packaging off and show you guys it's set up. And then we've got a wireless keyboard. And then cord, another cord with a big charging block. I don't know exactly what that is. And another cord. Obviously with the desktop, you're getting a lot of cords. So what I'm gonna do is unbox the whole thing, get the whole sleekness of this kind of equipment. It's just so sleek. Apple just really does it. So, and then I'll just show you guys it's set up in my room because I'm so excited. All right, here's my new desktop computer. I'm freaking out. I can't even believe that this belongs to me. Like what? This is all so sleek and wireless. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I finally, finally pulled the trigger on this. I just can't. All right, guys, that's everything for this vlog. Um, I'm just going to spend the rest of the evening editing this and hopefully getting it up for you guys on time tomorrow. Um, last week was such a nightmare with uploading. It took eight plus, actually 24 plus hours to even process the video. YouTube was having some kind of issue. So fingers crossed we won't have that issue tonight. So going to obviously spend uh, the evening doing that and then playing around with my brand new computer because I want to cry. It's just so surreal for me. It seems like such a CEO move. It just, I dreamed about the idea that I would buy a Mac desktop and I just can't believe that I own it. It's, I want to cry. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. That's it. That's all. See you in the next one.